I'm going to show you how to create a side-by-side -side box plot in SPSS. Your textbook sometimes refers to these as comparative box plots. So either way, you want to label these types of graphics. We're going to be able to make them in SPSS. To start off, what we want to do is have our data set opened in SPSS. So we all know how to do that. Go get it from Moodle. Open up the data set and away we go. Then what we do is we click on graphs, go to legacy dialogues, and select box plot. Then we need to specify two options. We want to choose simple box plots. And we also want to say that the summaries are for groups of cases. These are typically the default settings in SPSS, so we can just click define. Having done this, we need to decide what the variable of interest is. So what is the quantitative variable that we're actually summarizing? And then how are we going to break up the box plots? So what are what variable are we using for comparison? And in the data set I have opened up here, I'm looking at fuel efficiency for a number of vehicles by the number of cylinders uh, in their engines. So the variable of interest for me is fuel efficiency in miles per gallon. And I'm going to use cylinders as the category axis here. After I do that, I can click OK. SPSS thinks for a little bit, and then it creates these comparative box plots for me. Notice that we get a warning, and if you read that warning, it says, well, something's happening when cylinder, cylinders equal five. So if we scroll down, we can see that a line was drawn when there are five cylinders in the engine. And what happened here is we only have one data point for this type of engine, so it can't actually draw a box plot. We actually need a fair amount of data in order to draw these box plots, and we don't have that amount of data. But what you can see is for the other cylinder uh, specification, so four cylinders, six or eight cylinders, we did have enough data so the box plots were drawn. And notice that these are outlier box plots by default. Remember to copy and paste your plot into Word or something for submission. It'll just make everyone's life easier.